in the gap and right center field, extra bases. Here comes working, waved around the throw to the plate, and it goes through, captured Snyder. The Phillies have tied the game. A year ago, the Phillies' outstanding record against the Mets, along with the Amazes' late-season collapse, pushed Philly into the postseason. This time around, it's been the Mets dominating the rivalry, 9-4 and four against the Fightins this season, entering Tuesday with a slim half-game lead in the East. Trying to keep that going. Damian Easley, a big part of it in this ballgame. Top two at the plate. Uh, Mets ahead 2-0 Easley with already one of the RBIs. Here is sixth home run of the year. Four for five, three runs scored, two ribs for Easley, a double shy of the cycle, three nothing men's bottom two. Carlos Ruiz, the chopper, check out Easley up the middle, making the fadeaway throw behind the bag. Nice scoop, Carlos Delgado, and Easley gets his man. Third inning, Fernando Tatis, who's been such a surprise this year for the Mets, taking Jamie Moyer for a ride. Three-run blast for Tatis, his 11th of the year, 6-0 Mets. Moyer gives up those six runs in three innings. Mets would have a 7-0 lead in this. That for Pedro Martinez, the lead at 7-1 now, bottom five. And Jimmy Rollins coming off a big night on Monday, sends this one out. It's ninth, two-run blast, Phillies within four. Two batters later. It's Ryan Howard's turn. He goes opposite field for his NL leading 35th. Phillies get four on the board real fast. Down just 7-5. Pedro gives up five runs in five innings. Bottom eight, Mets bullpen in there. That's been a struggle all year. Pedro Feliciano gives up the single to Jimmy Rollins. Carlos Ruiz comes in to score. Big night for J-Roll. And the Phillies within one. Bottom nine, Luis Ayala. He's the Mets' closer du jour. One save last week. Up against Eric Brutlett with a man at first and two down. Brutlett, the last position player available to Charlie Manuel, and he comes through the double to right center. Jason Worth going to try and score, and Brian Schneider can't handle the throw. The Phillies able to tie the game as Worth able to go back, touch home play. A two out, nobody on rally for the Phils to get it done and tie things up. The 10th blown ninth inning lead for the Mets this season. Bottom 11, bases loaded with Phils for Rollins, looking for a sixth hit of the night. Instead, just pops it up to David Wright, and the Phillies fail to score on Aaron Heilman in the inning. Bottom 13, Scott Schoenweiss pitching for the Mets. Shane Victorino scored the winning run in extras on Sunday, igniting the rally. Down the right field line, into the corner, and... Victorino, there's a reason he's called the Flying Hawaiian, pulls in at third base with the triple to lead off the inning. The Mets decide to intentionally walk the next two batters. Remember, Charlie Manuel without any position players available, so Brent Myers sent up the pinch hit, and you know him best as a pitcher. And Myers just up there to look and <laughs> take strike three, though it was with a full count. Shown why he's avoiding the walks. Now with a one out. Chris Coast with the opportunity. He's coming through. Swing and a line drive towards straightaway center field. That's going to win it for the Phils. What a comeback. Down 7 0. The Phils rally back for an 8 7, 12 inning victory to regain first place by a half game in the NL East. The Phillies have now won 9 of 11. Much to discuss after this ball game. Billy Samples got you covered. It's an interesting dichotomy that the Phillies, known for their hitting, yet the Mets have a higher team batting average, and the Mets, known for their pitching, yet the Phillies have a lower earn run average. So it stands to reason that Ryan Howard, leading the league in home runs and RBIs, makes the key defensive play tonight, and Clay Condry, the long reliever, got the base hit that sparked the Phillies' rally. I was just trying to uh, keep it from no doubles and, you know, knowing J.C., how J.C. would pitch and um, kind of running the sinker in or whatnot, and have a chance to try and pull it down the line. So it's basically basically trying to keep it from going on. I'm just out there trying to do my job, um, just trying to make plays, uh, you know, and, and help the team keep the keep the team in the game and, and um, you know, try and help us win any way I can. Yeah, that was a mistake. No, uh, he struck me out. I think the last time we played here, I, I came into the game and he was pitching. He struck me out on a curveball. Now, if he threw me a fastball, I, I probably wouldn't even have swung, but... I was kind of sitting on the curveball hoping he'd throw it, and he did. The Phillies now have a half-game lead in the National League East, but game two, they'll face Johan Santana, who in his last 37 starts is 26-3 in the month of August. 
From Citizens Bank Park, I'm Billy Sample for MLB.com.